to the eighth one in the world. Thanks for coming out tonight. It is approximately 5.45, 5.30 in the morning on my way to England for Gymshark. It's going to be a long day, so I'm in my comfy traveling clothes. And instead of just doing a cool travel vlog, well, a not cool travel vlog because I do them all the time, we're going to do a what I eat in a day travel edition. First, the first thing I'm eating today, G2G protein bar. Probably my favorite protein bar out there. Macros on this bad boy. 14 fat, 18 protein, and 25 carbs. So a little bit high fat. But we're just gonna show you, we're gonna take you with. We got Alec Baker. I'm just gonna show you what I eat when I travel. They're not, they're not vegan. So Alec has never had one of these. But the reason I like them because they taste like whole food. They have to be refrigerated. So I grabbed this out of the refrigerator before I came. And everyone's staring at me in this place because I'm talking to my phone. I'm talking to you guys. The second meal, we'll say food of the day. A little acai bowl with vanilla protein added. Baker got himself an LA hat. I can go back to Australia and all the cool kids would be like, oh, Alec, you're so cool, you have an LA hat. What'd you get? Acai bowl with what? And a cookie. How much protein's in there? How many, how much fat? 11 grams fat, 60 grams protein. How many carbs in? 35? 25. Not as good as my G2G bar I had this morning. So on another layover here for three hours, we're in Calgary and I don't know if people here in the winter time just, it's not a good sign because the airport's completely dead, which means no one in their right mind wants to spend winter time in Calgary. I don't blame them. We came north of the wall for one purpose only, and that is to fight the white walkers. Wait, no. It's to catch our flight and go to London. So we're here, no, I've never been to Calgary before. <laughs> And I'm probably not coming back unless I'm going skiing or sometime here in the summertime because we started off the day with rain in St. George and fog and it has downgraded to snow. So I noticed too, we really didn't go anymore. This is a map over here is London. Well, I guess it'd be reversed for you guys. This is LA and this is London. We're just up here. Like we went up and now I have to go all the way over. So all I know, there's no one in this lounge. I got three hours and a full bar. I'm here to get drunk. I'm not sure I always say that, and I never do. Life water, Starbucks, charger? I don't know what I'm saying. Alec Baker, help me, man, I'm drowning. You look super trendy, though, in your LA hat. I'll wear my Culture Kings. Is that weird? You're wearing an LA hat, and you're from Australia, and I'm wearing an Australia hat? And I'm from LA? No, I'm not. I would never be from LA. I'm from the US, though. That is weird. Is it, is it weird, or are you just saying that for the vlog? No, oh, it is. Well, it's yeah. kind of like weird that we both from LA. And I also, do you, you know what I also be, just noticed? Be from where I'm from. My, my best friend Scott just posted a picture of him and his wife decorating the tree, and it puts my picture to shame. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go out and I'm buying a new freaking tree when I get home. You better believe it. You guys are gonna see it on Instagram. 
All right, this is my lunch. I went all vegan. Salad. This isn't chicken. It's it's tofurkey. It's supposed to look like turkey, but it's really just chicken, actually. As in real chicken. As in, that's what I'm eating. It has approximately 31 grams of protein. 31.5 grams of protein, approximately. It has 28.6 grams of carbs, approximately. And do you know why I finish it off with a little pineapple? Take a guess. No, not because not not because pineapple is vegan. It's a good it's a good guess though. I like where you're headed with that. Pineapple is actually a good digestive enzyme. It has digestive enzymes in it, so it's great for. Uh, because it was a 27 hour door to door trip and uh, got here to Birmingham absolutely starving. So Sunday roast is a big thing here in England. Sunday you get roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, parsnips, all the trimmings. And I'm eating pizza. Why? I can't find a damn Sunday roast place. I can't find a good carvery. So we're staying in a hotel here that's attached to a mall and none of the restaurants in the mall have a good Sunday roast. So did the next best thing and I'm gonna smash this pizza pretending it is Sunday roast. My macros, I haven't really eaten since since the plane. Um, so I definitely have some macros to spare. I really wish I was putting them to good use with an amazing Sunday roast. If you guys are in England, in the Birmingham area, and you guys wanna make me a Sunday roast before I leave, I know it's typically only a Sunday thing. If you wanna make me a Sunday roast on Thursday, I'm down. So I finished the pizza and I'm still hungry. I just don't feel right being in England on a Sunday and not having Sunday roast. It's been probably two years since I've had a Sunday roast. So you know what? I'm saying what the hell? I'm gonna go find me one. Searched up the local, the nearest carvery. That's what they call them here. And I'm gonna go to see if they have one and I'm gonna dive in. All right, it is pissing down rain. I think that's what they say here in England. I'm at some random building and there's a bunch of English-looking white people going in, so I must be at the right place. This is a problem roast. Sorry, Holly. Yes, please. Uh, I'll go. The that's, that's lamb back. Oh, okay. Ignore that song. That's yeah, I won't go. I'll, I'll, I'll have a little bit of ham and then turkey and then uh, the roast beef. This is what a Sunday roast is supposed to look like. Got all the trimmings. Got roast beef. Got the turkey. Got the ham. I'm a happy camper now. It beats that half-hearted pizza that I just had. And I have to shoot tomorrow, so all this food's gonna look great on camera. Hey, you want pillow flop? Oh, hey, bro. What are you doing? What's happening? Where's your room at? Next door. Is it as, is it as good as this one? I don't know, I'm coming to check it out. Ooh, this is nice. Yo, what are, what are these things? What are the Dude, what is this? What is this? A tea set for ants? I need at least three times this size. What movie quote is that? Do you think we quote a movie every every vlog? Yeah. I, think I think we do. If you guys if you guys quote that before, give yourselves a pat on the back because we're gonna put it up in three, two, one. What is this? A center for ants! What? How can we be expected to teach children to learn how to read if they can't even fit inside the building? Derek, it's just a- I don't want to hear your excuses! The center has to be at least... 
three times bigger than this. What am I wearing is the real question. What are you wearing? Um, I'm gonna go have a little tea by the hot tub, I think. No, this is, this room's, it's pretty legit, man. I don't know, like, I'm gonna have to drink like 10 of these in the morning, but you guys know how, I'm breaking everything. Are these, are these free? Are these free? I don't know. You Bro, my roast, I know you're vegan, but my roast is pretty dang good. And now I think I'm gonna go sit in the hot tub. Well, you have a hot tub? This, this is this is the penthouse suite, you know what I'm saying? We rock in here, we might have a party come Friday night. I haven't sat on that couch yet. <laughs> um, I actually just picked up my room, so. This is where all the magic happens, and by magic I mean trying to get over jet lag. There's no way these slippers fit me either. I got really fat feet. I got really ugly feet. I'm really self-conscious about my feet. Thank you for not showing my feet. <laughs> Dude, look at these things. My Gucci flip flop. What? I just in your girl in my Gucci flip flops. Uh, bathrooms, there's two. So when we have that party, ain't no one crapping in the nice bathroom. We have, you know it's a nice bathroom when you got the hot tub. No, nah, it's not the hot tub, that's just the bath. And then you got the, the rain shower. So thank you to the hotel for hooking us up. I told them I, I was with Sir Alec Baker. I'm like, yo, I'm with Sir Alec Baker. Over here in England, that's a big deal because they knight people and stuff still. I'm like, I'm with Sir Alec Baker. He's a vegan, the world's most famous vegan, aren't you? <laughs> I read it. Peter put it out there. Uh, I'm reading a book right now. I read it in a book. We're trying to make this as douchey as possible, if you guys are wondering. Giving you the room tour. I read it in a book. And now we're going to go jump into the hot tub because that's how we end the day. Let's do it. This is an epic, epic fail. I was trying to impress you guys to make you think that... How are you? Good. To make you think that... Just I don't care. I'm going to the spa. Yeah. No, the spa is closed now. It's closed now. Yeah. yeah, so how do we get out of here? We're going. Try to get back to the hotel. It's upstairs. Upstairs. Uh, yeah, but take the lift. Take the, take the lift. <laughs> you are in that floor, fourth floor. Yeah, well, our key doesn't work. Look. No. Oh. This is just staff. Oh, this is the staff oh, elevator. Yeah. We wound up on the staff elevator because <laughs> we were trying to find out the hot tub, so we took the stairs down. Yeah. The, the other elevator is broken. What? Well, the fifth. Fifth. Yeah. Penthouse. Okay. Yeah, Penthouse. the guest of the episode is not just make this one walk in. That's why. I oh. Walk in. That's why we couldn't go back yeah, up. We were stranded. Yeah, in front of the stairs. But I was going to have to sleep in the hot tub tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we would have probably been in there all night if it wasn't for you. It's going up now. Oh, it's going up now. Yeah. All right, have a good night. Thank you so much. Friendly folk around here. So here's the deal. I was gonna try to impress you guys and make you think the hot tub was in the back of my room because there's a hot tub here that looks outside like it's on a balcony. So I was like, I'm gonna make you think that it's in my room. Bad idea. What happened was we couldn't take the elevator down so we took the stairs down. The only problem is we went in one door and it locked behind us. Then the lady at the spot was like, no, we're closed. We're like, whatever. I thought it was 24 hour. I'm trying to hit the, wind. I'm trying to hit the gym afterwards. And then we're like, okay, we'll find another way. We couldn't go back. We were trapped until this nice lady helped us out. Press number five. Service elevator works every time. Whoa. Whoa. Do not take the large green linen trucks past these doors. They don't want it to seem they don't want to seem, you know, like you, you never see the staff, you never see the, the linen basket. Some things are best hidden from the eyes of your A-list guests. Wait, is this where we go? That's where we went. Oh, that is where we went. That was how we got trapped, man. I'm really pissed. Look, it says spa and gym. It should say only open till 10. All right, I'm going to bed. Have a good night. I'm going to take these and Take a bath, I guess. But I'm gonna still do it in my, I'm gonna still do it in my orange shorts, just so I feel like it's a hot tub because that was a epic fail. Thank you for watching. We have landed in Birmingham. Tomorrow is a new day and I'm gonna go sit in that hot tub for